I'm reading from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. And there is a second commandment which is just like it. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Amen. In America, it is deeply uncool to love yourself too much. If you try to pull that stuff off, we are coming after you and we will cut you down. Because if you are showing yourself too much self-love, it means that you think that you're better than everybody else and we do not tolerate that one bit. But yet, what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say was the purpose of life, to love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor as yourself. How do we love God if we don't love ourselves? How do we love ourselves if we don't believe that God loves us? How do we love our neighbor if we can't love ourselves? I believe that in America we have a deeply unhealthy view of what love is. We're confused. We don't know when we love another person. Are we loving them or are we trying to possess them? Sometimes we punish true self-love and we reward egos that are completely out of control. And sometimes we send our children a mixed message because we talk about them needing to have healthy self-esteem but we invite them to have it by looking down on other people who are different than themselves. True, spiritual, God-like love is very rare. I took a look at the website of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual at their website, and I had to cut it short. It was very helpful, but as I was reading about the personality disorders, I began to see myself in each one of them. So I had to uh, stop that and, and get away from it. But the description when I came to narcissism was exactly what I was looking for. Self-centeredness, self-glorification, looking down on other people. Here was narcissism in a nutshell. Not being able to relate to other people as individuals with their very own purpose in life, but the narcissist looks at others as serving them, only fulfilling their needs. So you see, a narcissist does not love. What they are doing is not self-love. A narcissist 